Aryan. Okay. What is the meaning of Aryan? Mm. Where are other people? Where are your friends? Mm, they have not joined. Um, good evening, sir. Naveen here, sir. Actually, right now I am in the Aryan. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. So right now I'm in Ludhiana, sir. Oh, it must be very hot there, isn't it? Yes, yes, sir. Uh, here also in Calcutta, it is very hot, 42 degrees yeah, centigrade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Calcutta is also too much hot weather. Yeah, very hot. It is so hot that I couldn't go out of the house today. <laughs> so hot. Yes, yes, sir. But Ludhiana, what is the temperature? Ludhiana is, sir, um, actually, weather is moderate, sir. Today is rainy day, sir. Now in oh. evening, sir. Yeah. So, weather is cool now. In, but afternoon is too hot, sir. Actually, Ludhiana near to, sir, Simla and Himachal. So, totally is mountain area. So, suddenly weather is changed, sir. And you can mm -hmm. see in Chandigarh is also different weather. Mm. Yes. So So Aryan is waiting for your session, sir, always, sir. And also he is also ask the question to Pankaj sir, ke, what is the suggestion for sir, for books and others also, sir? No, I, I, I will, I'll give him, after, I, I'll give you a list later on. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, yes. And let him read gradually and try to understand things. Yes, sir. So, so Aryan, did you like chemistry? Aryan, what? Aryan, do you like chemistry? Chemistry. Do you like? Um, chemistry. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Um, um, no, no. little. What do you read in chemistry? Um, about cells and reactions. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, do they teach you chemistry in class five in your school? No, sir. So, what do they teach you in science? Um, about stars. Um, hmm. a little bit about stars and um, and. Uh, SST about our planet Earth and mm -hmm. seeds and seeds. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what else? <laughs> there are chapters like um motion of planets, stars. Um, and mm. about the moon, mm -hmm. moon, and our planet Earth, water, water, mm. and a seed. What is a seed? And animals. Reproduction. Oh. Okay. So, and in mathematics, what do they teach you? Um, um, the teacher about numbers, hmm. large numbers like millions, thousands, volume, hmm. area, length, etc. Mm -hmm. So so what happened to your other friends? Other friends are not coming. What happened to them?
अपेक्षा ये कम और ये टू लेट फॉर देम इज इट यस वी हैव अमरनाथ जी नाउ हेलो नमस्ते एवरीबॉडी नमस्ते नमस्ते what what i'm seeing is that uh, we are not having many children in the group now Hello. only aryan yeah. is there okay let me text them if uh, they can join all right so i was thinking that maybe today you can tell a little bit about the space x which just uh, went up but Oh, okay, I maybe I'll I'll, I'll, I'll I'll have to do some homework on that. Then maybe next time I'll tell about it briefly. I can okay. just say that ah. they say Elon Musk is trying to make uh, just Homer, like you know yeah. Star Wars Star Wars ship. No, <laughs> he wants to make okay. so that he can travel yeah. to moon. Some people say yeah. that his eye, his eye, like the Chinese people. chinese people when they are setting sending now rockets satellites rock, uh, to moon they are in fact trying to you know dig the earth and to, to find out whether rare elements are there or not which can be transported back to earth and some say elon musk also has the same plan actually yeah uh, okay. so so that is only possible well, uh, and it's really of course he has a business plan yeah he has yeah, a business I mean, plan of course he has the business motive behind it yeah, yeah. Mean, nobody it's spends this kind of money without any business motive i think this rocket which he has sent has the capacity to carry 50 tons which is very huge if i if i remember correctly 50 tons it can carry yeah even more than that And, uh, yeah so so i think uh, the mission was that it if it takes uh, if it takes off successfully then that is considered the successful mission not that uh, right. up in the air it did not um, really separate from the booster or not so i was watching a debate so that's what they were saying mm. that uh, you know yeah he had succeeded in mission because the mission was uh, that whether you can uh, lift off from earth uh or not that was the whole objective so it met already that we have a nice day today outside you guys can see it yeah it's a beautiful now yes yeah it's a spring here now all right so mm. continue let me call, let me call the girls and see if they can join i'll be back Okay. So Yes, I am Aryan you want to ask any question? Yes. You have raised yes, your sir. hand. Um I want to ask where are all the aliens or life organisms? Where are? Uh, that's a very big question. One thing that the aliens uh, some people think that aliens have already come to earth and gone back but still there is no proof still there is no proof of this so most of the many of the scientists are looking they think that uh, why life, there is life on earth they, it, if there are similar conditions somewhere else there could be life <clears throat> and for life what you need is so you know, water the water should be present now for water to be present you know water you know boils at 100 degree centigrade so that means that that planet should have temperature less than 100 degree centigrade see high temperature means big molecules can't be formed isn't it they will all break up because of the heat so they are looking for planets where the temperature is reasonable so that life can evolve and there could be you know, see on on earth is started something like say 2 billion years ago life 
There it could be a bit, but the universe was formed 13 billion years ago. So there could be some planets somewhere far away where there could be, you know, life started much earlier. So there could be aliens, their shape might be different, their way, I mean, their face, eye, everything would be different. So we are looking for that. Till now, there is no proof. Most of the proofs which you see in the TV channels, they are not correct. They are all made up. So, hello, good evening, Akankha. So, so aliens could be aliens. They have to come here on Earth. There is no proof yet. So I they could be this. there somewhere in the universe. They could be there. They could be more intelligent than us. It is possible. Yeah. I want, sir, I also want to speak about the Kardashev scale. About the? Kardashev scale. Um, rankings of civilizations. Yeah, why don't you speak? Yeah, let's hear. Um, our civilization has not reached the first level. It is at 0.72%. Um, to reach the no, no, first no, level. Aryan, you must explain also because I also don't know what is that. What is What is the meaning of first level? And what is point um, seven two? Uh, level, um, level one, civilization can control its planet and all the energy of its planet and a type two civilization. Um, mm. can can control its stars and transfer the energy to its planets and a third. Rank civilization um, would have the capacity to control over the galaxy. The great world, which is almost 300 million light years away, is just a blank spot where almost 2000 galaxy, galaxies should be there, but there are only 60. Mm. Yes. See, the, the number of galaxies which are there, huge number of galaxies are there, millions of galaxies, and each galaxy is having millions of stars. So universe is really very big. So, Akankha has joined us, and now Apiksha has joined us. Hello, Apiksha, what are you studying now? I just studied uh, biology. Oh my God, I'm uh, I'm very I poor in this. Okay, and what else are you studying? What you have said? Now, what else are you studying? Maths, physics, chemistry, all subjects. Basically. Yeah. So did you, and Akankha is having a problem, she's, hello Akankha, hello, hello Akankha, hello, Acha. Apekha, yes, now, hello Akankha, Hello? So, uh, Apekha, have you heard about the climate change? Yes, am I audible? Yeah, now I'm, uh, now you're audible. 
have you have you heard about what is a climate change yeah i have heard about that what is that climate change What is this climate change actually? Do you understand what it is? Yes. Clim uh, basically, climate change refers to long term shift in temperatures. Yeah. And why that happens? It can make the natural. See? But uh, human activities have been the main driver of climate change. In what, so what happens? Due to what the burning of fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gases. I think so that. So what happens? So what happens if I burn oil, coal, and everything? Yeah, it causes global warming, which produces heat-trapping gases. Like. Okay, so I see now Akancha, Pekcha is there, Aryan is there. Okay, good. At least we have two students. Yeah, we, we have three now. Oh, good. Yeah, I don't know why why the parents, they don't see, send their kids to this meeting. This is such an important meeting. So, I mean, if it was US, if people would jump to this meeting. Parents. Acha, what about Akan Khatshe? She's not speaking at all. Akansha, Hello, Akan Hello. Uh, yeah. I just forget in which I class you are, Akan Akanka, you are in which okay, class? I'm in class nine. 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 So, so have you heard about climate change? Yes, sir. Yeah, what is that climate change? So it is the rise and rising and decreasing of temperature due to us, our human activities. No, is it the rise or it is the decrease? Which is? So it is mainly the rising of temperature. So why does it rise? So there are multiple reasons for it, but the main I can remember is that we use many electronics. They give off gases that are harmful. They give off gases like carbon dioxide and chlorofluorocarbons. They are yeah. really helpful to the environment. Yeah, but my question is that, okay, so you emit carbon dioxide. So why the temperature rises? I don't know. The carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. A greenhouse gas basically traps heat on in our Earth's atmosphere and doesn't let it leave. This causes the temperature to increase. What are the greenhouse gas? They want to absorb the what? Uh, what did you say? Please repeat. Please repeat, repeat it? Hmm. Greenhouse gases, what they do? The greenhouse gases trap the sun's sun's heat that in the Earth's atmosphere, and they yeah. don't let it leave out out of yeah. the Earth's atmosphere. They basically trap right, it inside right. the Earth. Yeah, yeah, we are very correct. So, and 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 do you know how much greenhouse gases we emit every year? Do you have an idea? No, sir. Do you know that per year we emit 51 billion tons of greenhouse gases? Yes. 51. 
5151 billions yeah apikha aryan you are wanted to say something on climate change what is yes. your understanding um so if you have seen a greenhouse it is made up of um glass the outer layer is made up of glass and water and plants in the the glass is our atmosphere if the glass gets thicker the temperature in that would increase and right as it happens in a car if the car is kept yes. in the hot sun you know the inside car with the temperature rises compared to outside the very same the same effect takes place in the climate change also what happens the sun emits lot of energy which comes and they penetrate they penetrate the outer atmosphere which is there they come inside and they up but you know the earth does, does absorb some heat but emits also so but when it emits The, the there are gases like carbon dioxide and other gases methane and all that carbon dioxide is the most dangerous one they absorb it and increase the temperature so even 1 to 2 degrees rise you know and it was happening it has been happening all throughout the earth from the, the day the earth has been formed but it used to increase and it used to decrease you know very small amount of increase small amount decrease but now after 17th century now the human activity because of science you know has changed so much we are having you know, a lot of coal coal based power plants we have uh, um, so many things emitting this carbon dioxide that the atmosphere will contain so much that it absorbs so the temperature will increase and already the effects are there you know, on our earth isn't it acha so aryan you wanted to say something sorry sorry i just interrupted you um, so point to remember is that it is 51 billion tons do you remember now how much is a billion um one with nine zeros Yes, yes. One with nine zero. One, one ton is one thousand kg. One ton is one thousand kg. Yes. So fifty-one billion tons. Can you imagine how much it is? We are emitting gases. Five one zero 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 zero. Yeah. Yes. But the problem is that most of the gases, which are also able, they absorb heat. They go up. and they get destroyed but carbon dioxide is one that lasts for quite a long time so that is where the problem arises yes. the similar effect took place now people are able to see that this effect took place on mars also the mars temperature earlier was much less that is why people are looking for life there but then suddenly because of this greenhouse effect the temperature increased now the temperature has become 800 degrees centigrade so now there is no life there everything if it if it was there it has all been destroyed but there could be life under the this some people feel that under the surface you know there could be some life or some you know trace of life would be there that's why people will be making a lot of space rockets go there and to see that so i and the last last week's question have you all answered why we get weather why there is hot in summer and all that um sir because in summers the light rays are much more concentrated than winters mm, you know why that is what i was asking why why they are concentrated because of the ref, the rotation of the earth no the, no 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 not because of 
to the rotation. So why? Why? Because if something rotates, then why the light rays will become concentrated? In fact, that will be better. No, if something is rotating and you are letting light fall on it, then there will not be much heating. Yeah. Um, so so what is what is? What does Akanka say? Akanka, why why do we get hot in summer and cold in winter? Like Arjun just mentioned that we have summers because there are more concentrated sun rays on Earth. So it is he didn't give full explanation. So it is because during the summer the Earth is facing the sun. Half hmm. of the Earth is facing the sun, while the other half is not facing the sun. So the half that is facing the sun is directly getting sunlight. So there is summer, and the half of the earth that is not facing the sun, there hmm. doesn't get much sunlight on, during winter. So that causes winter there. But the, but the earth is rotating, so light will fall on all the surface. Yes, sir, but earth is rotating very slowly. I. So, so uh, Earth, is, Earth is rotating in every 24 hours. Earth is rotating. So every, everybody is seeing the day. There is day is everywhere, you know, causes, day and night. Yes, so that causes day and night. That's rotation. Earth revolving on its axis. The, the weathers are caused due to revolution. Earth revolves around the sun in 365 days. Huh, so, and why it is, was, so why uh, it is hot? Why it is hot in summer? So not because of rotation, because of rotation, you know, 24 it's hours, an the season changes right. every three months almost, you see? Yes, sir, I was just explaining because of evolution. Rotation causes because, day and night. It was... no, no, not because of day and night. So day and night everything changes. So we'll have summer every twelve hours. No, we get summer almost for two three months. It's hot in summer. What? The... What is Apitya? I don't see her. What is Apitya? What is the answer she she is having? No, yeah, Apeksha and Aryan are more in science, so they should be able to explain it. Uh, so, Aryan, what is your final answer? Day, on a specific day, hmm. the, the, the Earth must be so perfect that the light hit the equator, hmm. and where there is more light, there is summer, and where is this, then there is winters. Is it like that way? Mm, I don't think so. You see, we get summer for almost two, three months. You see, it's, it gets hotter and hotter. And then after that, we have got spring and we have got autumn and then again winter. So it is not a daily effect. It is the summer means it is hot for two, three months. April, May, June, is it's going to be hot. So this question still remains unanswered. So I want you, where is Apekha? Where is, I don't see her, okay? Akankha, you must also brush up this knowledge why it is hot in summer. So here, here I give you a little tip. You guys have answered some part of the question that sun rays make the earth warmer, right? And then angle, you guys also, I heard you guys mentioning some angle is the part of the contribution. So, so think that earth, uh, earth gets uh, more heated, uh, whether it is facing planet sun or not, because of the heat it receives from sun. So it seems that it's receiving more heat during the wind, uh, sorry, uh, it's absorbing more heat during the summer months than winter months. So now the question, I mean, sun is emitting the same heat every day. It doesn't emit more or less. So it is, the sun is giving us the same heat, but we are 
receiving different heat in winter than summer. So why is that? That's Hello. The clue I can give you. Yes, yes, yes. Sir, I I'm sorry to say, but I don't have any knowledge about that kind of part, but I can try to answer this question. So as we all know that kind of, you know, Earth is uh, rotating, right? Yes. 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 So, so maybe, maybe one thing would be there. Sun will be uh, far uh, uh, in uh, uh, winter season and uh, closer uh, to Earth uh, in summer season. So maybe one would be the one, one, one uh, uh, logic, logical logic behind it. Because when I was in near to uh, any heat, then definitely heat will. So I have a feel more heat, right? When I will, I am going to far from heat. So might be I can feel less heat. Okay. So you have so, a good point. We have a good point. But my question is that sun doesn't change its position. Sun is always fixed at its position. In fact, you know, other planets are moving around sun. Sun is always fixed. But so, Earth is moving, right? Earth is rotating, okay, right? So, so tell me, so why, I mean, uh, if the earth is rotating, why it will uh, get uh, more more heat during the summer than in the winter time? Yeah. <laughs> One Think. I mean, Keep thinking, guys. <laughs> you don't have to answer. Okay. 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 This is, I, so this I is answer question. this question. Yeah, you want to answer Vivek ji? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. First please, of all, please. good evening, sir. Good, good evening. evening. Good evening. As uh, my point of view, I think uh, the Earth rotates the sun not in circular path. That is uh, an ec eclipsial path. So uh, yes. in, in a year, sometimes uh, Earth very near to the sun. That is summer days, I think. And uh, sometimes it very far from the sun, so that is winter. Achha, so to count, counteract your argument, I will tell you one thing: yes. that if that if that is the cause, then what happens is that when we have summer in Australia, yes. it is winter, and when we have winter, Australia has summer. So distance is same for Australia and for Earth, you see. For yes, yes, India yes, yes, and yes. Australia, the distance will be same from the sun. So that may not be the cause. So there has to be some other reason. OK, so this question we leave to you all so that we can discuss it next time. Yes. But I want that this should get into your head that why it happened. Yes. There is another effect yes. I, I, I want to discuss today that you will find in summer, the days are longer and nights are shorter. Yes, and yes. in winter, nights are longer and days are shorter. Why? Yeah. See, so, see, so, so, so just a different point. So this is how the scientists start thinking. You know, yes, this is the yes. question comes in front of the scientists and they start thinking and thinking, what is the solution, you know? Uh, how, what, they, and they have to not come with any argument, but argument has to be a valid argument, which everybody else can accept, who have a general understanding of the uh, astrophysics, right? So, uh, so this is how the science progresses. We start thinking about it, then you pose some questions, you come up with a hypothesis, then somebody cancels, you know you are not right because of this, 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 and then so, oh my God, yes, he, he has a point. Then you start thinking it again, that what could be the true reason of it? And then finally you come to the root cause. And then, wow, that is the aha moment. You have discovered Right, it. right. Yeah, Amarnath Ji has explained it. That's how the science works, you know, that you ask a question, then you find out answers. You might have different answers, like Aryan gave an answer, Akanka gave an answer, Vivek Ji has given an answer. Then we test it, that which is correct, whether I... So, and that's how the science progresses, you know, that to, to arrive at the right answer, and that is um, um, our whole universe. 
There is one more thing I would like to add, which Amarnath Ji said, that you'll be surprised that even the sun is orbiting the center of the galaxy a few million miles per hour, it is going around the galaxy. So if yes. every time we come after one year, we don't come to the same spot. It is a very different place altogether. And, so, and I, I, want, I want to make one additional point. That sure. you see how the, how the, our Jyotish, I call Jyotish astrophysicists, they are how advanced they were when they you know the western system they also have a jyotis or all these uh, 12 uh, uh, star uh, what you call months uh, their um, nakshatra and all that but their calculation is based on solar system that sun is their center of the calculation in all the distances and everything on the other hand Indian scientists, all these physicists, astrophysicists of the past, they made the center of the galaxy as the center for the calculation. So the error, if you make error, if you make sun as the center, let's say that you have an error factor of five. But if you make center of the galaxies as the center for the calculation, your error reduces to 4.5. So it's always much better. And so I give hats up to our thinkers, how they came up with that idea. Maybe Malik ji can answer that question that how they discovered that, no, 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 no. Sun should not be the center. It should be the galaxy center should be the center of the calculation for planet promotions. No, no the, the, uh, Amarnath ji, this point, there is a lot of controversy that uh, whether in the earlier, say, 2000 years back, and particularly du during Aryabhat and all that. So most of the, uh, the, uh, the feeling was that the Earth is the center of the universe. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. It, it, so they, that time they didn't have an idea that, so all the calculations which even the astrology uses, like say, uh, okay, someday I will tell what is the connection of astrology with the astronomy uh, someday. So this idea that this uh, sun is the center is an idea which came up sometime in 16th to 17th century. But but what Amarnath Ji has said you know, during Arivat time and I think Bara Mihir time, it seems that there was some indication was there that earth may, may not be the center. But the proof is still to be found. I, I, I'm still not very sure about it. Yeah, we need to study a little bit of the old things, actually. But one good thing is there, what Amarnath Ji said, that 2,000 years back, there, there was a lot of science being done uh, to, to, uh, in, in, in India also. Like, particularly, I would give a lot of credit to Aryabhat. Barah Mihir also did a lot of work, but then he was in contact with the European and the Arabian world. So he brought in that knowledge to India, they say. But then he also had his own personal contribution to this. But the aim in those times was that, that like say, I went to Ujjain, recently I went to Ujjain, and they have a good observatory there. So I went and met the curator, the head of that uh, observatory. Very nice observatory. I mean, if you go to Ujjain, you, you must visit that. They have all kinds of you. So I asked the curator, Ki, what was the necessity for the king in the 17th century to make a observatory like this, which is a very good one, very scientific. He said the only aim was that, that they wanted to go to war just at the right time, you know, but decided by the astrological predictions so that they can win the war. So they wanted to know the time exactly. That is why they made all those kind of things. I was really surprised. You must all visit Ujjain sometime when you go there, apart from seeing the temple. You should see that observatory. It's a very nice
So coming back to the old question, which I was saying that uh, somewhere the tilt of the tilt of the Earth's axis is the cause of this uh, weather. Now you have to figure it out, Aryan, Akanka, <laughs> and where is. So the tilt, how the tilt affects this season, you know, is very important. There are some planets that tilt is so little that in fact there is no change in weather. And uh, so the tilt is responsible for this one. And even it is responsible for, you know, why the days are longer in summer and, and uh, the night longer in winter. Even the tilt by tilt, understanding the tilt, which is 23 degree, 23.2 degrees, that explains, uh, you must, you can Google and try to understand and we can discuss that next time. So but I, I wish that in the school they teach about these things. Uh, but all the students have spoken correctly that uh, how the day and night takes place. So that is okay. Now you must discuss weather, why the weather changes. You must discuss also why we get monsoon rain, you know. Earlier monsoon rain was a something which was a something which we never understood. Now it is very well understood. And they, so how the monsoon happens and things like that. It is very unique, almost unique to India and the South Asia. So that is one very important point. The other, Akankha and Aryan, and where is so the shop because he has gone. You must climate change. You must try to understand that why. What are we doing that is increasing the temperature of the earth? You see, the scientists are telling that if there is an increase of two degrees centigrade, many things will happen. In fact, you know, the Calcutta where I'm staying, it seems it will get drowned in next 100 to 150 years. Just because the sea level will rise. And the sea level will rise because of the temperature increase. And already people are seeing the how the glaciers are melting. Even the Himalayan also, it seems the glaciers, a lot of glaciers which were never melting earlier or remained almost fixed, now they, their size is reducing. So it's going to have a very big impact on us. So Akanka, yeah. do they teach you climate change in your schools? Yes, Akanka, you, you have raised your hand. Huh? Hello? No, sir, they don't teach the climate change at school. Yeah. And do you ask questions to your teacher that why it happens, how it happens, how we can do it? Did they ever tell you that we are emitting 51 billion tons okay. of greenhouse gas every year? All of them going up and trying to increase the temperature. Okay. Uh, I have a comment to make. For Aryan yes, and yes. Apeksha and Akansha, the students, that uh, you, I mean, you know, so far we are talking about the theory of the science, but science hmm. does not only do the theory, it does the experiments. And then that's how it yes. tests whether the hypothesis yes. is valid or not valid. Okay. Right. So, so that's how we do it. Now, what I was, what I would like to suggest is that this experiment. Uh, you can design an experiment and then you can test it. How you can do it? You know, you take a different size of balls, buy, buy from the market, different tabaka gand lelo, and then think one of the big gand is your son. And then your uh, smaller gands of different sizes are your planet. But let's forget about other gand right now. All you need is two gand. One for representing the sun and one for representing the earth. And then you experiment it and you need a torchlight or even the flashlight of your uh, phone will work as if uh, you are throwing light from sun to the earth. So, so if you have three things, two GAN, one big GAN, one small GAN and a flashlight, 
the maliki whatever the experiment uh, he has asked you you can test it yourself he has given you mm-hmm. enough tools of course you will have to use your hands to rotate the earth uh, in the different uh, ways but you can do this experiment to see why the day is happening why the night is happening why uh he he mentioned he gave you the clue that an angle so you already have discussed that uh, somebody uh, i think mentioned that it is an elliptical orbit so put it together all these clues whatever knowledge you have as a scientist and see if you can run the experiment at your home and uh, and come up with some conclusion next week yes yes you should always try to keep on thinking see whatever question comes to your mind you should not ignore it any question that comes in your mind is a good question whether it could be you might start thinking that no nahi ye to bahut kharab prashn hai nahi puchna chahiye log kya kahenge they will think i am a stupid no any question that comes in your mind you should try to question it try to understand it whether it is a valid question or not is it a wrong question or not in what way do experimentation discuss with people and those kind of that's how the science progresses this process you know started sometime in 17th century that people started asking questions whatever is written in scripture and other things they are correct or not and that's how you know the science suddenly came up and you see now in 300 years we have progressed so much so that's how the science has increased maybe next time you know i'll discuss more in details about the climate change is very interesting uh, you'll be surprised that how we are destroying our earth so aryan you have aryan and apekha both of you have to answer me next time why the days are longer in summer why the weather weather part you have to see the seasons you have to answer day and night everybody has answer and now climate change you have to answer the why the temperature is increasing i want more you should think about it now we can take up some questions from you all akankha and aryan you can ask questions to us See, a lot of knowledgeable people are there. There is Prem, Pankaj, Vivek ji is there. Yeah, Imran ji is quiet. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Let children ask questions. What is there in your yes. mind? And keep in mind, we are trying to make you guys a scientist. We are not trying yes. to judge you. Okay. Right. So <laughs> we, are, we, we are trying to help you to think like a scientist. And how the scientist? Because uh, Satranan Malik. he is a physicist i am an engineer and we both have we both have been experimenting doing test all our life to prove something right. prove something that's how we do so we can we, that's why we are telling you that if you have to if you wear the scientific hat simply you cannot sit idle your brain should be working over time when you are going to sleep you should be dreaming about this problem it's yes. be so deep in your heart that you will see this uh, planet moving in the sleep in your dream state and your brain is calculating the uh, all the things uh, and trying to come up with the answer that's what happened when we say tapasya that our rishis munis were doing tapasya for a long long time they were doing exactly this thing they had a problem in front of it and they were trying to seek answer and they were meditating thinking calculating discalculating figuring it out you know arguments counter arguments in you, in their head so that is what so this is a kind of tapasya we are asking you to do to answer these questions thank you now so so, so chatranand sir uh, uh, really science is what i feel that something is you know Uh, you know kind of curiosity will be every time it should be always to know yes. something new yes it's all about science yes you see you science know, is basically we want to understand our environment we want to understand 
inside our body, what is there outside our body, around us, 1,000 miles away from us, 10,000 miles away from us. We want to understand. Only when we understand, we can make good use of it, you know. So we need to understand why things are happening the way they are happening. And we, we should not be biased in understanding, you know, whatever is the truth, let it come out. Let us right. believe in the truth. Correct, correct. So, sir, right. about that, about that belief, uh, I just wanted to know some, you know, different question. Uh, hmm. Not, not related to that uh, kind of sun, right? So, just, I, I have one thought related to that, you know, law of attraction kind of questions. For example, if mm -hmm. I think about this is the thing I need to do, right? I need to achieve. Mm. So, 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 what I feel that you know, all universe will, you know, kind of give some kind of power to fulfill that kind of goal. So, 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 what does this mean? Is it is there really universe will help me to achieve this kind of goal? If you truly believe. To yourself believe to your goal so definitely universe will try to achieve your goal so is it is it kind of law of attraction or how it is how this 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 mental you know thinking is going to be have in their path how it is well you see there, there is something called belief so until anything is proven proven it is always a belief isn't it? So, so uh, only when we prove this point which you made, then only we can say that it is the truth. Until that happens, it is a part of belief and you believe in that. But till date, there is no proof of this. Isn't it? There is a, we don't have any proof that uh, the universe will help you do this. No, your mind is powerful enough, you know. I mean, uh, and I, I do not this law of attraction that you are talking about. You have. I want to. I would like to know more details about it. So, 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 for but, example, um, for example, yes. uh, just just clarify one point. For example, if I have in my mind something coming uh, in my mind that. Uh, from my heart that I need to, you know, uh, uh, visit this uh, city, right? I have various curiosity to understand more detail about that city. For example, any specific city, you can consider any dream city. And I'm not talking about country right now, small goal I'm talking about. Or for example, if you have any dishes in your mind that I think I should eat that dish, right? So I don't know, hmm. I don't know when and I don't know how it is. But but after some time, what I realized that, you know, kind of, you know, coming here and there might be different references, might be different parties. What I feel that some, you know, same dish which I have curiosity to eat, so will be presented in, my fr in, in front of me, right? So, so what I feel that is that uh, when my universe will help me to, you know, uh, achieve. <laughs> well, actually, actually, it is not the universe. See, since you are thinking about it, you are surely, you know, indirectly, you are also trying to get that thing. So somehow or the other, suddenly you see that you <laughs> think will happen. You see, right, suppose right. I want, I want to go to Delhi. I desire to go to Delhi. So I'll keep on thinking about how to go to Delhi, <laughs> right, how right. to get help from someone, these that I'll be asking, and suddenly I'll take a flight and go to Delhi. So, <laughs> so I'm <have laughs> right, responsible right. for it, right? Right, right. So, so, so might be one thing would be if you are if you are not planning to go uh, uh, visit the Delhi, so might be one different perspective. Your company will assign you to visit Delhi, right? <laughs> to see. Might be some function. So, anyways, you know, kind of attraction will, you know, catch you. All right. So, since uh, Pankaj, you raised this question, I have another comment which I want to raise. Uh, because what happened is that when you were saying that uh, universe, how can it help? Me and uh, Malikji, we did not understand actually uh, very well your problem. Okay. 
So now I'm I'm trying to analyze why did we not understand? Why we are not able to communicate? The reason is that your definition of universe and my definition of universe and Malikji's definition of universe at this point were all three different. We did not converge on one definition. I was thinking one way, he was thinking astrophysics right now, and I was thinking philosophy, Advait philosophy of the Jagat that was in my mind. I'm just making it up. And so he was astrophysicist. I am thinking of Jagat, Eku, Brahma, Jagat, Mithya. Right, right. So, so I'm thinking about that Jagat. And then you were uh, talking about some socio-political economic perspective. What is the universe? <laughs> you are trying to solve the basic social problem, one kind or other, right? Mm -hmm. So the point I'm trying to make, I think kids are gone. Aryan, no, you should listen. It's very important in the science that first we define the terms and the words, and then the whole community who are working on it, they all stick to that definition because definitions changes. For example, I gave you the Prakriti. Prakriti, prakriti and Purus, this is very common and Jagat. These are very common words in philosophy, Indian philosophy. But if, and you know, we have six philosophies in India. There are six branches of philosophies. And you'd be shocked to know that when you say Purus and Prakriti, they define all differently. I just learned recently. So in the philosophy has a different meaning than the Sankh philosophy, than the Bicentric philosophy. So it's, it's very important that- uh, It's very important that we stick to definition or for the audience, suppose you have a diverse audience, like I'm just making it up right now, that I'm a philosopher, Malikji scientist, you are a common man on the street who are trying to fix daily problem. So uh, we need to create an environment where everybody is aware of the definition, what you mean by your word. And then we proceed the discussion. So that's the ground rule of the science too, that everybody is, because unless you all have agreed on the basic definition, you cannot even continue with your discussion. Everybody is talking, uh, in the air with a different meaning. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah that, that is true. Achha, uh, Aryan was raising his hand. Aryan, you want to say something? Yes. Um, um, where are we in, in this um, galaxy? Oh, we are. I, okay. Where we are in this galaxy? I will show, say, send a photograph in that WhatsApp group. I'll which gives the location of the sun in that galaxy. I will send it. So, I mean, today only. Um, where, where are you in the universe? Um, can I tell about it? Uh, sure, you want to say it. Good. Um, on Earth, you are on a city, on a continent. Um, hmm. From your frame of reference, you the Earth has up and down. And um, the frame of reference is correct for our, for ours, and the hmm. Earth rotates, revolves around the Sun, but the re hmm. re the rota re rotation around the Sun is not hmm. elliptical; it's jiggling because the Sun, the Moon, is a massive object too, and. Our solar system plane is not in the right way as the galactic plane. It is just like um, Neptune's um, axis, just like it is like hmm. Neptune. For a terai, 17 degrees, it makes with the plane. Yeah, so with the, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is a data which we know very well uh, right now, Aryan. Yes, yes. so. Acha, ab ek, Aryan, you ask a stupid question. Hum hai. Ki hum log to prithvi, I, I'm standing on here. Let us say I'm in Calcutta. I'm standing here. 
and there is a country just on the other side of the earth isn't it which is the country i think it is usa isn't it yes so yes so the yes. which means that you see i am standing on the earth with my head up and leg down so the so people in usa they, what will be there their head will be down and leg will be up no sir their legs will be down how how because that is the other side you know ulta have to to niche hoga na wo because of gravity no no but what, uh, <laughs> i would i would like like to ask amarnath ji that is your head down and leg up you are on the other side of india sir if you can see um people from the ground mm -hmm. you will see their their legs are down and their heads are up yeah but uh, yeah. Yeah, with respect to me <laughs> yeah. okay so physically i am the same just like i am in india up my head is still up my feet is still down <laughs> <laughs> Aryan could you ask your teacher about this question i i found many teachers they fail to explain in a school you know that uh, how it is so are, are you convinced that uh, amarnath ji his head is up and leg is down he is on the other side of earth you see it is a round thing isn't it earth is round so, yes and here i am standing in calcutta with my leg down head up so the opposite side will be the leg will be up and head will be down isn't it no sir uh, why uh, how do you say so that is the question i am asking hmm. um, okay so uh, now we are is it that we are supposed to continue beyond 10 no last time also we asked one question to all of you is how do you know earth is round um, why do you believe it sir because of gravity it pulls everything in no but no but, uh, you see there are there are planets which they are not completely spherical yeah they, they are not less mass no like see the asteroids they may not be round they might be even a long stick like thing might be there yes there is also gravity is there also isn't it yes but it has no no but how do you know i mean how do you know that earth is round that is what the question i asked you last time so you so must discuss with your friends huh because of gravity no because no no because of gravity it it becomes a round but how do we know that that earth is round and sir, sir because it is hmm. massive no see a ga galaxy is not uh, round not come perfectly round it is most yes, of sir. the time elliptical and all that yes when who taught you that earth is round you have read in the book but did you get convinced that earth is round so in science you must get convinced mm. any proof that you know that the earth is round you see there are people in new york there are more than 5 million people in it seems all over usa who think earth is not round earth is flat in fact it seems recently there is a group in usa which is making a space rocket to send it up and to take photographs themselves they say actually earth is flat earth is not round so suppose i send aryan to convince them that earth is round so you have to convince them that earth is round yes so maybe next time you should come with an answer vivek ji has raised his hands please go ahead Regarding <laughs> <laughs> to me, sir, I think when we see the sky, uh, we see that the sky touch the earth after a long distance, and we uh, when we 
go outside from the that place uh, then also we see that the sky that uh, so after some distance uh, this is uh, i think is tarah se hum samajh sakte hain ki jo hai earth round aisa lagta hai ki kuch duri par aasman jo hai prithvi se mil jata hai lekin aisa kahin bhi jaiye hat ke hi prati इसका इसका जो है द फर्स्ट थिंग यू नो पीपल अर्थ इज राउंड सिंस मिलियंस ऑफ इयर्स इट इज राउंड बट यू सी व्हेन पीपल स्टार्टेड ऑब्जर्विंग इन द सी दैट व्हेन द शिप इज गोइंग अवे फ्रॉम द बीच यू नो सो ग्रेजुअली इट कीप्स ऑन फर्स्ट यू विल सी द शिप देन यू विल फाइंड द शिप पार्ट विल वैनिश एंड द अपर पार्ट यू विल सी gradually you will find that it is becoming the upper portion is seen and suddenly it vanishes so this was the first thing that came to human mind that earth could be round and then many many regions you know the came over and now of course we have a photograph of the earth that earth is round but there are many regions and in the school they teach us i i i think pull over ncrt books have some regions many regions are given how we know earth is round and of course what vivek ji you said that is also one of the confirming the one argument which confirms that earth is round but not 100% but it confirms it 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 supports the proof yes it is um sir all all really you know very standing. simple thing if you suppose you have a 30 storied building if you look from the bottom floor see some the, the end the horizon and if you go to the 30th floor you will see some more distance of it which proves that the earth is round yes. actually but this is also a supporting proof there are many other proofs are there which i want aryan and children to pick up from their books Yes Aryan you are saying something you are the only young boy left now <laughs> Sir you have said that Yeah so there are many reasons you will find in your NCERT books which are given try to understand them and get convinced the earth is really round So uh, Aryan, you have, if you have any question, you can ask. Yeah, Vivek ji, आप लोग भी पूछ सकते हैं question. हो सकता है, it is possible. I may not know the answer, or Amarnath ji may not know the answer. We'll come up with the answer next time. I mean, anything that strikes your mind that you don't understand. Ah, uh, sir, yes. So, sir, we you know have knowledge, or we used to. uh see various article that uh, all over this universe uh three yes. part is water only one part is earth right in the in the on the earth on the earth you are saying yeah on the, on the earth yeah. yeah so yeah. so one one part is only uh, earth and four four part is the water correct yeah yes so 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 this is kind of a written theory as i can you know kind of having knowledge but but practically if i am thinking about so if only uh, earth is under the one part so how will become a, you know round mm, yeah uh yeah, <laughs> yeah. no you are thinking that because it is water so it cannot be round is it right right so sometime i thinking you know practically maybe question will be wrong <laughs> very nice very nice question <laughs> no you see it is it is the no th things become round because of the gravitational effect they become round which i they become round even water is attracted water is attracted and you will be surprised the tides which come these 
because of the moon gravitational moon. force even the uh, the you know the oceans they, they lose their roundness so that is how you get the high tide and low tide things like that you see okay yeah yeah sure Yes. No, no, it is not one side. It is distributed. The sea and oceans are distributed all over. In fact, you will be surprised. Once upon a time, there was no water on the Earth. All the water has come from the meteorites and asteroids, which and landed on the Earth, and they were all icy, so the Yeah, and it may be you'll be surprised that we have water two different types of water on earth one that has come from the the asteroid belt meteor belt and one that has come from the uranus ke paas bhi jo hai na bahut icy asteroids hain un dono ka composition thoda alag hai so there are two types of water on our earth but once upon a time there was no water on earth uh, It's very easy. And they will discuss that. That this is a. But uh, uh, Premji, see the water also is a, is a kind of matter. Matter. So there is a gravitational force to it. So always anything, you no, know, they try to become spherical in shape. But not necessarily. It is hundred percent spherical. It, on the poles. you have some deformities so i want to ask a question no to dr yes. chakuran sir that uh, yes according to you is there any possibility to existing the aliens in our galaxy in our universe well i i i would say that there is a 99% chance that there is by aliens i mean some kind of living living beings some kind of living beings existing somewhere yeah. because what is special is about normal. earth is if the same condition exists somewhere else see initially people thought earth is the center of everything so everything big things were happening on earth but now we know earth is not the center so there could be earth like things anywhere so that, so the chance that aliens are there is now very well accepted question is we have to find them sir even a uh, ant on mars would be called a alien for sure if there is an ant there is chance that someday they because of evolution no bigger th- animals will also come but t- till date we haven't seen anything any life on moon it's mm-hmm. not there people are looking at mars there could be or they are looking also at the jupiter's moon jupiter moon one or one or two moons they have got similar condition as on earth europe so yeah yeah mm-hmm. so but yeah, in outer world already there are 65 exoplanets which people are concentrating that there could be life there because the temperature is correct there is presence of water is there and you know that our body needs oxygen oxygen though even on earth the first living beings were not oxygen based but nitrogen based this is, you might have read in your books it's only later when oxygen became too much on the earth then we have living beings which are based on oxygen but earlier it was nitrogen based so there are exoplanets many of them now people say that the temperature and other conditions are very similar to earth and there could be aliens only we are worried you know that those aliens should not be more powerful than us because they, they'll come and they will destroy us yes. <laughs> so i 
so should we look for aliens yeah you should look for and there are thousands of people who are looking for it thousands of people and you know most likely mm. most likely aliens are looking for us too yeah sure sure must be if they are more <laughs> intelligent than us they might, they might be <laughs> they might be already knowing what we are doing hey aryan have you heard of ufo yes okay so maybe one day that's what it is people believe that a lot of people think that they have seen it ufos which is nothing but a, call it uh, aliens in helicopter they are a style of helicopters so maybe one day we can talk about it hmm uh sir a high type civilization is called a loud a loud civilization and they can be detectable if they are in our galaxy higher type civilizations like um, four or five could capture clusters also or and the giant um void there was um there will maybe maybe there will be a species that is powerful to control the whole area yeah so aryan these are all our imaginations you know because yes. still we don't have the proof you know so if we get the proof and then we will we will have to will know the truth but right now people are imagining very different things different shapes for people different uh, all living things would be different the brain would be different and things like that but people are just imagining so i have to leave Yes, I have to leave now. Sir. Yeah, sure. I think we all will. Win. So, Amar Nazi, I think we should do. now yes. close the session. Yes, I think uh, it was a very successful session today. Thank you, everybody, especially Aryan. Uh, Aryan, you should uh, you should try to get some of your friends interested also in this meeting. That will be good. Yes, uh, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Um. So can you advise me some books? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I, will, I, will, I, 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 I will advise you some books. Let me figure out some books which will be good for you because you already know many things. So I have to advise you the right books. Yeah, okay. so once we are done, I think, uh, Pankaj, we can close the meeting today. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very so much, sir. But even, uh, yeah, even, uh, even uh, young young adults also can ask questions, and we can discuss science. Yes, yes, sir. Various questions we also have in my mind. <laughs> yes, please, please ask. No, even I have some questions which I will ask to you all for answers. <laughs> yeah. You can ask, sir. <laughs> Sure. Okay, then. Good night to everyone. Good night, sir. Thank you so much, all of you. Good Bye, night. sir. Good night. Sir.